Right, so here's a quick video for my students. You've probably got something like this box and you want to add some text to it. Now, there's two types of text you can have. Uh, there's the this text, which is more like a label, so you can just click there. It automatically comes up with the area, but you could have uh, whatever, you know, the thing. And then you can then just click the select tool so it comes off. So that, that is your label there. Okay, now most likely you're not going to want labels. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, you're most likely going to want uh, 3D text and you can type in whatever text you want. I'll just leave it as the default enter text. Uh, you can uh, enter a size, let's say 12 millimeter high. Uh, there's extruded and non, non extruded. Most likely you're not going to want it extruded, but let's just leave it on the, extru on the extruded option just for, for the moment. Uh, so it's now going to, it's now going to be filled and extruded and uh, it's five millimeter deep the extrusion so let's just click place so that you've got some text there notice that um, I can place it on any face it's doing that automatically I'm, I'm not doing anything else uh, it's doing that for me so I'll just place it on the top there and so there it is uh, you can use the scale tool uh, which I believe the shortcut is Q uh, no not Q sorry S S is the scale tool so then I can then Chains like that. Uh, Q, uh, Q is a useful one. Uh, Q is the uh, is this tool, uh, which is the I think rotate tool. Um, so let's just uh, click the center point, and then let's just click there, and then I can rotate. So you might very well want to do that as well. So you can find that tool under uh, Q rotate there, and as I said, uh, S for the scale tool as well. So. You know, you don't have to use the shortcuts, you can use these. Now, you probably don't want to be pulling from the side because you'd probably end up distorting the text. So most likely you're just going to want to go like that. Now that is, as I say, extruded text. You're unlikely to actually want that if you're one of my students. Let's just uh, get rid of that. Most likely one that you're going to want is the still 3D text, but this time uh, don't have it extruded. Uh, once again, you can set the size and the fonts and everything like that. And then this time around, uh, so yeah, so this time around, you'll see that it's it's flat, it's got no depth to it, and that's uh, most likely the one that you want. So you know you can still change the size and um, do everything else that you want to do, um, but um, it doesn't have any depth to it. And let's just press M for the move tool. So let's just move that around just like you would normally. And uh, yeah, sure, you can color that in as well. So let's just add some uh, background color to this box and then let's choose a color, uh, whatever that color might be. Uh, the likelihood is, I think, that uh, for most people, you would probably have uh, laser cut some panel and then laser cut the text on, uh, in which case you'd probably just go for like a slightly darker shade of the, um, the uh, surface color that you've got elsewhere. Anyway, I'll leave that one to you. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward tool to use and it's easy to uh, it's much much easier than say if you were hand drawing uh, your uh, final design okay so that's the end of the video